hello guys and welcome to the vlog normally start the vlog on a sunday and it's a saturday but i really wanted to open this parcel with you um my friend started making a i am very aptly dressed in my uh disney pajamas per contest um but yeah my friend from university started making um stuff on an etsy account i'll show you the etsy found it um this is her shop luna moon by courtney and um she sells oh she's updated the oh really like the vintage disney um craft tags are so cute they're cool for like scrapbooking i think they'd be super cool to like frame as well and having like kids bedrooms they're only four quid Ooh, love this i'm a bit jealous that she didn't make these when i ordered the ones i've ordered but how cute put on your like christmas tree and stuff they're so nice so basically ooh. <laughs> what she does is she uses old books and old like uh calendars to make these little gift tags and decorations i think it's really nice and what was what was really cool she's got a tiktok you need to follow her on tiktok as well if you love disney you're gonna love her tiktok um she uses the um off cuts of the books and makes them into confetti with a little hole punch which is so cool um so yeah little wastage as possible by the way my hair is wet it's not greasy i don't know if i've mentioned that um okay i'm gonna try and show you this without showing my address but it's got little stickers on her and elsa on it love it right, now how to open this without ripping anything i don't know how to get in this <laughs> Ooh, lots of little bits in here okay it's beautifully wrapped with a little thank you sticker really cute Ooh, i didn't realize they were wooden oh, oh that is really cute i saw that she had this stamp i didn't know that she'd had it I didn't know she had it when she made these. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow, and, and she does little, oh my, look at that, look at that spot. Oh yeah, oh, so cool. It's a little note, but I'll show you the goodies. Oh my gosh, look, Peter, Peter Payne, ooh. And it's got, oh my, that glitter. These are so good. I knew they were going to be good. But I didn't realise they were going to be on wood. This is so good. So cool. Ooh. Hook and Smee. I should have worn um, Tinkerbell pyjamas. But I don't have any, so. In this. <gasps> Wendy. And, and that little, bit, I don't know his name. Okay, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh, I think the dog's called Nanny, isn't it? Oh wow, look at that shine! Dun, dun, Tinkerbell. Oh my goodness, it's just perfect, isn't it? Absolutely perfect. There's a little nerd. Thank you so much for the purchase, Queen. Thought I'd send you a few Disney crafty bits. This is the sort of stuff I was thinking of putting in with the scrapbook album. Things I was telling you about. Hope you like them. Look, Courtney. Oh! Oh, this is such a good idea. She sent me, like, the little note and then a little packet of things. This is clever, you know. I like this. Oh, my goodness. I didn't realise she was going to send me this because I bought them. Um off ebay i think she's got a couple of things off ebay but it's mainly on etsy but this is so nice oh my god i love this i'm gonna lay this all out and then i'm gonna flip you around so you can see it all oh i've just realized that the notes on them this is the note the front of the note and it's actually done on a piece of the um the books that she she she's so clever this is what i bought 
I don't know, this is it. Oh. Oh, I just love it. I love that. And then this is the scrapbooking um, little set that she sent me. So you got a bit of material there. And then the bunting. Little tags, which I suppose you could write something on the back of them. Like put them with a picture or something. And then these are quite cool. Like, um, I don't know what she's done these out of. Feels kind of like a cereal box or something. I just love the fact that it's like really eco-friendly. Using all the bits and the bobs. And it's really cool. Like if you're into scrapbooking. But maybe you haven't got the time to pick out all the cool bits. You know when you go to the shops and you can buy all the bits to do the scrapbooking. It's really cool to get like all the Disney bits. Because Disney is normally so expensive. Like in, in the shops and stuff. So yeah. You need to check out this um, her Etsy. So I'll, I'll put it on the screen and I'm going to link it down below. So check out her shop, follow her on Instagram, follow her on TikTok. I'll put all the information below. Thanks Courtney, I love them. I love them so much I can't wait to show my mum. I am, um, my mum wanted to see them today. But um, I really wanted to film an unboxing. So there we go. And I, I was so excited after I, I, I washed my hair and I was like, oh damn it, I'm going to have like wet hair for the video. But I don't care, because I got too excited. So there you go. Thanks. <laughs> just caught the end of that guys we bought this about a few, i don't know when a few months ago uh, weeks ago sorry i was gonna say it's a knife sharpening thing knife sharpening block um because we had these knives for our wedding off my parents neighbor um but they've gone a little bit blunt because i think things don't dry properly in this flat that quick so they were i don't know if that did it but yeah they've gone a little bit blunt so i'm gonna test it out do you want to test the knife first yeah don't know Thanks. You test. I can't do both. Okay, I'm going to do all this. Yes, please. Jesus. Oh. Yeah, like then. <laughs> it was a yes, guys. Uh, what do I do? Just test the knife out. Maybe not. That, uh, chop the bottom off. Because <laughs> I'm going to use bottom. that pepper in a sec. Yeah, chop the bottom off. Oh, that was very hard to do. It is. It is. It doesn't <laughs> It doesn't slice very nicely. We're going to this one. Okay, I'm going to. I've got it. I'm going to dry it off. Yes. And then I'm going to sharpen. Sharpen? Oh my god, it's sharpening. Who's sharpening? Okay, just be aware of your eyes because my mother's warned us of eyes. Oh my gosh. How many times? I don't know. Probably should have read the box, right? <laughs> it's probably like once. Three to four. Okay, you've done that. Bumped it. It's horrible! Now do you like have to wipe it or something? Wash it. Why haven't you read the instructions? Didn't say to. I think you should. Maybe get some kitchen roll, wet kitchen roll. <laughs> Anything coming off? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Shall I give it a quick clean? Yeah. Defo. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Bear with us. <laughs> Washing my knife in a little sink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't tell if it looks different or not. Maybe use kitchen roll. What? I don't know, because it might still have metal on it. I don't know. I've been paranoid now, I know. Don't touch it, you sausage. It feels quite sharp, you know. I won't touch it. It feels jagged, though, though. Try. Yeah. Got it? Yep. We're gonna have that worth pepper. Chop it in half if you want. The pepper. Because I need to chop the pepper in half. Oh, this whole pepper? Yeah. Stand it up right. Okay, now chop it in half. Where would you like it chopped, Jeremy? Right in half. There? Yeah, that's fine. You're making a meal of that, I've got to say. I mean, that's no bloody different. you gotta, you got to push. Nah. No different for not, you. Not satisfied. It's because you're an, an absolute fool. I can't believe you just chopped it like that. You were just like... That was awful. <laughs> oh, I do not recommend. <laughs> Morning, guys. Welcome to the day of the vlog. Oh, That's some glare, isn't it? That bit of that low winter sun coming out now. Oh, it's winter. I've noticed it at work as well lately. The sun's starting yeah. to be like, just ah. like, right in your eye. Quite nice, isn't it? It's still like it's a sunny-ish day today, and it's all right. But I'm sort of ready for winter. I said to Stacey yesterday, I think I'm ready for winter this year. 
because I just want it to be next spring. <laughs> because this year has been such a fail that I just I want a summer where we can go out places. Yeah, like, I want to go on holidays. I want to go places. Yeah. We've been on a few treasure trails still, though. Yeah, but I want to go abroad, or just like I don't know, just like a nice holiday. And I want to be able to go and jam with the band and do gigs. Because at the minute, there's just no chance of doing anything like that. It's all just a shame this year, isn't it? Everything, all the good stuff's not been able to happen, but we still have to go to work. It's just know, like yeah. such an annoying situation. It's a shame. We did have two months off, so that was We nice. did. That was quite nice, yeah. I've tried that. And we sound very privileged because obviously we don't know anyone who's died of COVID. There are people who obviously had it a lot worse than us. Yeah, that's but true. I just don't want to go to work, if you don't mind. <laughs> Yeah, the penultimate game now for us. Is this the oh, last, last one? one yeah. <laughs> Joe promised me that the last one was last week. Last and I was like, yes, we get like a proper car boot. Yeah, but last week was the last game of like the season, and I forgot that there's the post season, which basically means that like, like usually you'd have the top few teams, and then a couple of the golden wild card teams would battle it out for the winner of the post season. And then that's kind of like the winner. But because there's only the three teams in our season, like even though we're bottom bottom, we're still in the postseason, so we've still got a chance of winning. Like even though really we don't want to win because it's not, you know, you don't want to win if you haven't actually won. I don't get it. I don't see the point. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. Like everybody thinks it doesn't make sense, but I think because of the way the baseball, British baseball league is set up, like we kind of have to do it that way. Well, we got up at an hour. We thought we got up early today, and we did. We got up earlier than we usually would, and we yeah. went to the car boot, and we still somehow managed to get there about five minutes before we would usually get there. <laughs> we don't know what happened. Uh, we were meant to leave at seven. We left yeah. at about half seven. It wasn't that late. It was like quarter past seven, but like I don't know what happened. We went through time portals, I think. <laughs> Wasp really wants my food. Where's it gone? Oh. <laughs> Are we stealing? Oh, she! Nice! Woohoo! Oh my god, oh my god, there's a lot landing on me. What did he slip on? I don't know. Stealing, he's stealing, he's stealing. Yes, Jamie, yes, Oh, so close. That was, that was good. To be fair, they are meant to be dying anyway now, aren't they? Yeah. You know, 29 years, it always finds you happy. <laughs> what? How old will I be? How old will you be? 44. <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting thinking that. What do you think you'll be doing when you're 44? Do you think you'll have a house? Come on, Joe. Come on, Joey. Come on, Joey. Uh, 